Hello friends. Today we will learn a new use of this worksheet tab here given in Origin Lab. As we know, when we are willing to plot this any graph, what we do? We select the columns and we directly click on this line, either scatter or scatter with line with symbols. And when you need to add multiple data into it, what we do? We just click on this one written here and then add the columns that we need or the data that we need and click just click apply. Once we click apply, what we get is we get this kind of a plot. Now here what we can see is they are randomly arranged. If we wish to arrange them in stacks or one above another or we need to have a waterfall, here when we click right click and go to plot and here while selecting for multi-panel and here if we try to have a stack we are able to have this so instead of this what we can do is we have to uh, and also to get a waterfall out of it when we click right go here and by offset stack uh, stack lines by offset here we don't get it so to get a waterfall, what we need to do is we need to merge multiple or we need to have data in one worksheet. All this data should be available in single one, one sheet. So here in this video, we will learn to add the data directly into a single sheet. All the data into a single sheet. For this, what we need to do is we need to go to worksheet and append worksheet. Here, when we click on append worksheet, what we get is we need uh, we get worksheets, we can select the worksheets that are available in this uh, folder or sheets in the book. If we have a single workbook and we have multiple sheets in it, we can use that sheets to uh, arrange them side by side or we can have them have the sheets available in folder, the sheets that are open in this folder and all other different options. Even we can select specific sheets that we can see here. So I will select specific sheets that we have here. I'll select this two, these three sheets and add. Once we add this, click OK. Now what we can do is we can use the entire worksheet or we can specify the columns. If we have a single X column to be common here, as we can see the X column or it seems to be constant or same for all the three sheets that we are adding here. So either what we can do is I can click specified columns and select specific columns to be added. Means I can add all the three column B's. Means all the three columns are added here. And also what we what I need is we need I need a single A column. So for that I can use a custom columns and here I can add a single A column here. I'll add, I'll move this, I will remove all this and I, now I'll select specific columns label here. So here one X column and all three Y columns are added here. Now just click OK. Here append by column or append by rows. We can append the worksheets by rows or columns. Here we will append by columns because we need columns to be appended. The data set identifier, data set identifier is the identifier which identifies which sheet it is from. So here we will select the sheet name as we have here different sheet names for each different sheet. We can use sheet names as the data identifier. We can even have range, book name or index and all other different things. But here we have sheet names which are different. So we will use sheet names. Further, finally, what we have is output worksheet. In output worksheet, there are a few options such as new sheet, new input sheet would be added to this particular sheet in this particular worksheet or workbook. In this workbook, a new sheet will be added and in that particular worksheet, we will have all the columns or we can have a new sheet. Uh, okay, this particular option that is new sheet will add a new sheet and uh, add new columns into it. The input sheet will be, uh, if we select this particular input sheet, all the columns will be added here uh, beside this particular sheet or in this same uh, in this same sheet. 
and final option is new sheet in a new book if you select this a new book will be created and in that particular book we can have all the uh, columns added to it so i will select new book and will generate a new workbook in which a new sheet will be available just click okay once we click okay we can see the sources are given here that is these two columns are from the same source or from the same worksheet that is 14th worksheet and these two columns are from different worksheets and now what we can do is we can directly plot them as waterfall by offset waterfall can be easily plotted and all other types of graphs can be easily plotted using this kind of a system or worksheet so thank you for watching this video and also subscribe our channel to watch more such videos thank you